Let us offer higher education as our war memorial. To honor those who took part in the great war. To the glory of those gallant fighters who came through. And to the memory of those devoted heroes who gave their lives in the cause of freedom. Now, every material asset a person possesses may flee. Education alone is an asset of which an individual cannot be robbed. University of Leicester, educating and inspiring for a century. Our first two years at Leicester from 1960 were involved in studying X radiation from the sun. Our priorities changed dramatically in 1962 with the discovery of a bright source in the night sky. For the following few years, we flew rockets from Australia and found more than a dozen of these strange nighttime X ray sources. To find out what they were, we really needed a satellite and then Ariel 5 came along and gave us that opportunity and we were fortunate to find an incredibly bright source, the brightest ever seen, which subsequent observations have found to be a very good candidate of a stellar black hole. I was invited as a human osteologist to come down and get involved with a project that was looking for Richard, but was probably going to unearth the remains of a medieval friary. The thing that I think this project taught me more than anything else was about the humanity of Richard III. And what finding his skeleton let us do was to realize just how much more complicated the reality really is. When you're an archeologist, your work isn't always self-evidently exciting to the public but this gave me a real opportunity to work on something that people genuinely connected with, people genuinely wanted to know about, and that was a really rewarding experience. I came to Leicester in 1977. I just fell in love with the place. It was an atmosphere of complete academic freedom. The biggest breakthroughs in science are those that come completely unexpected. DNA fingerprint is a very good case in point. Science tries to get it right all too often gets it wrong. Your job is to try and sort it out. It was after a lot of false starts, completely by accident, we came up with our very first DNA fingerprint. So that was on the 10th of September, 1984. And that was a moment that changed my life. Our work is dedicated to discovering new ways of responding to hate crime. We live in a world where, sadly, levels of hate crime are escalating year in, year out. And what we do is that we try to provide the evidence to help those agencies respond more effectively to victims of hate crime. To discover everything that we possibly can about their experiences of hate crime, the emotional and physical harms of hate, and what they want to see in terms of a response to hate crime. So for me, that's the only way of ensuring that our research can genuinely make a difference.
Welcome to the University of Leicester Summer Degree Ceremonies for the College of Science and Engineering. The ceremony will begin when the academic procession enters the hall. Guests are permitted to take photos and videos, but are kindly asked to remain in their seats throughout the ceremony. Please ensure that any smart devices are in silent mode. You can share your photos and videos on social media using the hashtag LeicesterGrad. We hope you enjoy the ceremony. And on behalf of the University of Leicester family, a huge congratulations to our classes of 2020 and 2021. If you do not wish to shake hands with the presiding officer, please hold your brochure in your hand as you cross the stage. Please stand for the academic procession. Bye. 
Professor Edmund Burke, Provost and Deputy Vice-Chancellor, will now open the ceremony. Lord Lieutenant, dignitaries, graduates and guests, hello and welcome. I'm really delighted to be able to welcome you to our summer graduation ceremony and to welcome you back to the University of Leicester. This is such a memorable occasion for you, your families, friends and your loved ones. What you have achieved is truly remarkable. We've lived through one of the most tumultuous periods in our history, a global pandemic that has changed the world in so many different ways. But through all that change, you have proven yourselves to be adaptable and resilient as you coped with sudden change, lockdown, hybrid learning, and sadly, too often, dealing with pain and loss. The applause that you receive today is richly deserved. In this, our centenary year, we recall the words of one of our founding fathers, Dr. Astley Clark, who said, education alone is an asset of which an individual cannot be robbed. I very much look forward to the ceremony and to con congratulating you all on your wonderful achievements. Thank you. Provost and Deputy Vice-Chancellor, as the head of the College of Science and Engineering, I, Professor Sarah Davis, present the following candidates uh, for the recognition of, of their awards. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Yasmin Hassan Kalaz. <laughs> bello, bello. Angela Castagna. Congratulations. Vlad Enna. Congratulations. Karkin Lam. Congratulations. Michael Morton. Congratulations. Wayne Murphy. Congratulations. Inka Iruka Onye. Congratulations. Noor Ain Ayuni Savri. Congratulations. Nesselan Susan. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Actuarial Science, Shani Tahira Clark. Congratulations. Give me Kamuru Perumu. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Actuarial Science with Data Analytics, Dilip Ratia. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Advanced Computer Science, 
our Nevesh Kopidi. Congratulations. Rochelle Kadam. Congratulations. Promise Matawa. Congratulations. Say Mekala. Congratulations. Muhammad Nawaz. Congratulations. Ogena Tajiri Okofkafo. Congratulations. Yamini Rayala. Congratulations. Jared Rigby. Congratulations. Sharad Roy Chowdhury. Congratulations. Ronald Tagao. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Advanced Computer Science with Industry, Abhinav Gunashetti. Congratulations. Anu Jose. Congratulations. Goshin Kaur. Congratulations. Simran Singh. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Advanced Software Engineering, Maher Al-Kahaldi. Congratulations. Liam Neville. Congratulations. Ryan Penfold. Congratulations. Thushanthi Thilalanathan. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Cloud Computing with Industry, Farid Yavari Dijiki Khan. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Data Analysis for Business Intelligence with Industry, Vishal Sharma. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Financial Mathematics and Computation, Jonathan Lee. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Geographical Information Science, Finbar O'Brien Jamey. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Human Technology Interaction, Hasnain Jiwa. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Human Technology Interaction with Industry, Maria Safi. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Web Applications and Services, Asma Al Qadri. Congratulations. Kamil Puturak. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Web Applications and Services with Industry, Asim, Ashima Pasi. For the Postgraduate Diploma in Advanced Computer Science, Anjali Jins. Congratulations. Saitasia Kohli. Congratulations. Shravya Yalagada. Congratulations. For the degree of postgraduate uh, diploma in advanced software engineering, Abbas Alatrani. Congratulations. For the postgraduate certificate in advanced computer science, Marcus Conda. Congratulations. Lavanya Yalagada. Congratulations. 
for the degree of Master of Computer Science in Computer Science, Mohammed Ahmed. Congratulations. Callum Alderson. Congratulations. Joshua Brooks. Congratulations. Jared Foley. Congratulations. Michael Gillies. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Computer Science in Computer Science with a Year Abroad, Gabriel Akuntunde. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Computer Science in Computer Science with a Year in Industry, Simon Fiose Ye Kings. Congratulations. Claiborne Harrison. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Geology in Applied and Environmental Geology, Omar Amri. Congratulations. Charlotte Clark. Congratulations. Eloise Whitehouse. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Geology in Geology, Molly Ag. Congratulations. Catherine Cannon. Congratulations. Daniel Croft. Congratulations. Charlotte Dykes. Congratulations. Cameron Fletcher. Congratulations. Isabel Gilbert. Congratulations. Sophie Jones. Congratulations. Sungano Mubara. Congratulations. Matthew Pierce. Congratulations. Karen Pye. Congratulations. Alexander Richmond. Congratulations. Chloe Twigger. Congratulations. Amy Risdale. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Geology in Geology with a year abroad, Harrison Owers. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Geology in Geology with Geophysics, Owen Rathbone. Congratulations. Alexander Rutson. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Mathematics in Mathematics, Owen Baines. Congratulations. Matthew Brown. Congratulations. Daniel Chingono. Congratulations. Charlie Etheridge. Congratulations. Adam Smith. Congratulations. Grace Waters. Congratulations. Shania Wilkes. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Applied and Environmental Geology, Sean Jagger. Congratulations. Kira McMahon. Congratulations. Anthony Newcomb. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Abdallah Aburiaya.
congratulations. <laughs> Victoria Afizentiu. Congratulations. Oluwada Mini Akapotuo. Congratulations. Stilianos Apostolikis. Congratulations. Michael Avramidis. Congratulations. Ashe Bala. Congratulations. Rushai Bika. Congratulations. Elliot Callahan. Congratulations. Sean Carroll. Congratulations. Sean Johan Shafiq. Congratulations. Andrew Chong. Congratulations. Daniel Coyle. Congratulations. Thomas David. Congratulations. George Doherty. Congratulations. Toby Drake Smith. Congratulations. Christoph Elefa Thuru. Congratulations. Logan Gronert. Congratulations. Uzair Haroon. Congratulations. Lewis Harris. Congratulations. Phoebe Hartin. Congratulations. A Jason Jadeja. Congratulations. Jess Jaff. Congratulations. Christana Canyu. Congratulations. Jake Keane. Congratulations. Jerome Kithinji. Congratulations. Holo. Congratulations. Vishal Kumar Manoj. Congratulations. Charles Moore. Congratulations. Abdullah Manasseh. Congratulations. Ishun Mystery. Congratulations. Sumia Nakvi. Congratulations. Faith Nairenda. Congratulations. Kudiwa Pasipamaya. Congratulations. Alexander Peverett. Congratulations. Ryan Poole. Congratulations. Alexander Quigley. Congratulations. Tatnatswa Raisi. Congratulations. Amanda Rijkstina. Congratulations. Todd Sandler. Congratulations. Sonam Shahi. Congratulations. Mohammed Sheikh. Congratulations. Anisha Shukla. 
Congratulations. Jacques Beer Singh. Congratulations. Arusa Tahir. Zane Tai. Congratulations. Lulu Wang. Congratulations. Daniel Webb. Congratulations. Benjamin Watling. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computer Science with a year abroad, Adrian Dewati. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computer Science with a year in Industry, Huda Abdirahim. Congratulations. Hassan Al Kabaz. Congratulations. Yao Boite. Congratulations. Mantas Butenas. Congratulations. Abdullah Chowdhury. Congratulations. Zamir Ijaz. Congratulations. Marcus Fung. Congratulations. Samuel Holly. Congratulations. Abraham Joyce. Congratulations. Claudia Killian. Congratulations. Henna Mandalia. Congratulations. Pedamoya Mangi. Congratulations. Joshua Mayo. Congratulations. Abdurrahman Mahmoud. Congratulations. Adam Mulwadi. Congratulations. Sutan Danani Muvula. Congratulations. Aishveria Nama. Congratulations. Avni Nanda. Congratulations. Prabhjot Singh. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computer Science with Management Studies, Jonathan Hall. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computing, Brandon Neath. Congratulations. Joseph Phillips. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computing with a year abroad, Daniel Lowe. Congratulations. Mansi Patel. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computing with a year in Industry, Mijuba Mejam. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computing with Management, Sufyan Aziz. Congratulations. Daniel Cook. Congratulations. Gomin Jonghing. Congratulations. Ryan Nash. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computing with Management with a year abroad, Alexander Kittredge. Congratulations.
Mr. Provost and Deputy Vice-Chancellor, may I present Sebsebe Demeseu as a candidate for the honorary, honorary degree of Doctor of Science. The town of Butajira in the province of Shewa in central Ethiopia lies at the base of the Zebida Massif and has an elevation of over 2,000 meters above sea level and has a present day population of 65,000. It is here that Sebi Sebi Demeseu was born. His early uh, schooling took place in the town. Eventually, Seb Sebi moved to the neighboring town of Bishoftu and attended high school there and later moved to the Prince Deibe Mariam Special School in Addis Ababa for his 12th grade studies. Seb Sebi went to the University of Addis Ababa and obtained a BSc de degree in biology education, which he passed with distinction. The degree included two years student service in Gambela, Western Ethiopia, bordering Sudan, a lowland area 500 meters above sea level and very different from the highlands where Sebi Sebi grew up. This experience inspired him to study botany, to understand the habitat and environmental differences between the two regions. Seb Sebi stayed in the biology department of Addis Ababa University for an MSc in plant ecology and taxonomy. Then he moved to Uppsala University in Sweden for a PhD in systematic botany. Seb Sebi became an assistant lecturer and rose through the ranks of lecturer, associate professor, full professor. His whole career has been at the University of Addis Ababa. Seb Sebi spent periods as Dean of the Faculty of Science, Keeper of the National Herbarium, and Executive Director of the Gulele Botanic Gardens. The Ethiopia Flora Project started in 1980 and was a collaboration between Addis Ababa, Addis Ababa and Uppsala Universities. The aim of this venture was to document the flora of Ethiopia and Eritrea. Seb Sebi's PhD was part of this work, and he later led the project for 15 years from 1996 to its successful completion in 2009. The results are reported in eight volumes, which describe over 6,000 plant species, 600 of which are unique to Ethiopia. Seb Sebi had the task of coordinating 92 scientists from 17 countries, and himself described over 50 plant species new to science, many of which are endemic to Ethiopia. Between 2000 and 2003, Seb Sebi was General Secretary of the Association for the Taxonomic Study of Flora in Tropical Africa. During his tenure, an important international conference was held in Addis Ababa, which resulted in major collaboration and funding from the Mellon Foundation to many institutions in both developed and developing countries. The major objective was to digitize type specimens of African plants held in collections at Kew, Paris, Berlin, Brussels, Florence, Missouri, along with other major herbaria around the world, and to avail these results online to students and researchers worldwide. In addition to these international projects, Seb Sebi worked tirelessly to sustain the Gulele Botanic Garden in Addis Ababa. As, as director, he was successful in aligning the garden with internationally agreed global sustainability development goals with 600 gardens around the world under the Botanic Gardens Conservation International Network. Seb Sebi believes in international collaboration and engagement with many institutions to train young scientists both from north and south to study and work together, forming better partnerships for the future. Seb Sebi has published over 200 papers in peer-reviewed journals and has authored or co-authored nine books. Seb Sebi has received many pre prestigious awards, including the 2022 Linnaean Society Medal for Botany, the Q International Medal, and an honorary degree of science from the University of Nottingham, where he is visiting professor. In 2008, he was elected as a foreign member of the Royal Society, thereby becoming the first sub-Saharan African scientist to be elected 
to the in the, in the society's 357-year history. Might one, might, one might well say uh, about time. Uh, these awards clearly show that Seb Sebi Demasewu is a major international figure in the field of botany. He is a, an inspiration to all African scientists who follow in his footsteps to the highest achievement in science. Clearly, it is time for scientific colonialism to end and for Af African scientists to take Seb Sebi uh, Demasewu as an example and discover the boundless riches of their own African environment. Mr. Provis and Deputy Vice-Chancellor, on the recommendation of the Senate and Council, I present Seb Sebi Demasewu so that you may confer upon him the honorary degree of Doctor of Science. Heard. Okay. Thank you, Chancellor. Thank you, distinguished guests and graduates and families. I think Paul has said all what I want to say about myself, so I wouldn't really repeat that, but I would have certain messages that I would like to share with the graduates. Uh, first, Really, this is a remarkable day for all graduates, but what I have also witnessed is I've worked in botany, botanical diversity, and I have never seen such diverse graduates in one occasion. So I really like to congratulate Lester for being so international with graduates from all over the world. I would like to congratulate you. Yeah. As Paul indicated, I have worked over 40 years or whatever of my life in studying biodiversity, not only in Ethiopia, but in most parts of Africa. And biodiversity actually underpins what we are, who we are, what we eat, what we do globally. And I also not only look at study only biodiversity of plants, but I also voluntarily work for an intergovernmental platform for biodiversity and ecosystem services. The main uh, goal of this platform is to make sure that we human beings are part of nature. We're not above nature. We are part of nature, and we should do everything to really keep nature safe, intact, and for the benefit of all human beings. In the last two days, I mean, I came from Ethiopia. We have really lowlands. You know, I, I uh, stayed over two years in an area which is about 500 meters above sea level, which is about 1,500 feet. And the temperature there could reach I think 40, 43, 44, 45, and with humidity. And when I came over to UK, and everybody was talking about this weather and temperature, I said, what? And I was, well, slightly frightened. I said, what's going to really happen with 41? But here we are. I think we live with global climate change. Now, my message is, why does this happen? Why do we talk about temperature rise? The reason being, we human beings are not living as we are required by nature. The carbon footprint is increasing. We have organochemicals in the air, pollution, unless and also we're actually losing biodiversity globally. So I know 
the United Kingdom is doing its best to keep its biodiversity intact, but still it's not enough. We should do more at a global scale. Unless we keep, unless we, we work in collaboration at, uh, on a global scale, whatever we do locally is not enough. So when we talk about the biodiversity, it's not only what happens in the UK that's going to affect us, but what we do in Africa, what we do in Asia, what we do in Latin America, impacts the global biodiversity and the climate change. So if we want to address, if we don't want to have the temperature that we have yesterday and today, we have to take care of the biodiversity, your forest, your nature. Then that, that was what I really had seen, and I think we should really work hard. All of the graduates, be it in geography, humanities, and every field, I'm sure you have a major role to contribute. But the, the notion is that if we only excel in what we do in our fields, that's not enough. We have to work together collectively to improve what we do for nature and the environment. So I hope this will, this will be the, the direction that we would really like to do in the future. And finally, what I would like to, to really sh uh, share with you is, I think, in Ethiopia and myself, we really have been collaborating with many institutions like Leicester. I work not only on biodiversity of wild plants, but I also work on indigenous, indigenous and unutilized crops. And that's what really brought me to Leicester in collaboration with uh, Professor Pat Heslop Harrison. We're really working to improve the quality and diversity of an indigenous crop related to uh, banana called insate. And in so doing, we really did a marvelous work to collaborate. But this time, we want to improve the collaboration. We take the collaboration higher. And I think I will probably have an, a discussion with the vice chancellor how we could really collaborate on, on this effort to improve the lives of indigenous people using indigenous crops. But all of you, I think, don't, don't really look only at a national level. I have heard that some of the graduates had spent a year outside this institution. I think that you should really welcome that. And if you happen to work in Ethiopia, we would really like to collaborate and facilitate your visits. If you come to Ethiopia, I would take this opportunity to invite all of you. And it's not only in Ethiopia, many African institutions would really like to attract youngsters to collaborate in many fields. So I will be glad to really facilitate, but I would like to take this opportunity to thank the University of Leicester, to confer the honorary degree of science for me, and it is 100th birthday, I was told, and thank you very much. Thank you. Pro Vice-Chancellor, I present the following candidates for recognition of their awards. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Geography, William Baker. Cameron Brown. Jay Choham. Ender Clawson Chan. <laughs> Kay Downey. 
Maggie Eloy. Kieran Evans. Daniel Foreman. Joshua Joanu. Michael King. Nathan Millard. Heather Milburn. Frederick Mugridge. Benjamin Oyston. William Spratt. Luke Stobart. Thomas Walker. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Geography with a year abroad, Caitlin Thomas. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Geology, Jonathan Alexander. Rachel Barlow. Sophie Bishop. Helen Booth Wynn. Alexandra Boylan. Alice Brown. Kaylee Crichton. Daniel Halton. Orla Heaney. William Jackson. Carl Lambert. Keneliwe Makwati. Lucas Owers. Bryony Reynolds. Jack Stokes. Lydia Thomas. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Geology with Geophysics, Bethany Cambridge. <laughs> Geraint Jones. <laughs> Ellen Judson. <laughs> For the posthumous award, of Bachelor of Science in Geology with Geophysics. Luke Cotton, received by Stephanie Cotton. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Geology with Paleobiology, Lucy Whitehead. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Geology with Paleontology, Alfie Bauer. <laughs> Joshua Taylor. Jack Walker.
for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, Saeed Ahmed. <laughs> Ashley Andrews. <laughs> Bhairavi Anil Ingham. <laughs> Musta Akima Akate. Ibrahim Aziz. Prajit Bajrak Araya. Dinky Kanji. Hannah Chanda. Jaya Chen. <laughs> Michael Christie. <laughs> Amy Chung. <laughs> Rikit Ritika Dutia. <laughs> Thema Air. Naomi Aoyibo. <laughs> Tao Feng. <laughs> Anna Filippo. <laughs> Roderick France. <laughs> Dale Halley. Georgia Henton. <laughs> Lawrence Holdsworth. <laughs> Amir Ishak. <laughs> Zara Ishmael. <laughs> Moesha Keswani. Despina Consinatadu. <laughs> Anna Maria Contu. <laughs> Eleni Contu. <laughs> Callum Lee. <laughs> Pavan Lihal. Freddie Mansfield. George Nightingale. Matthew Parry. Dylan Patel. Jay Patel. Chloe Patterson. <laughs> Katerina Polycarpo. <laughs> Rachel Pennell. <laughs> Shivali Ravul. <laughs> Amrit Sandhu. Mitchell Sandici. <laughs> Amanjot Sidhu. <laughs> Catherine Smith Dance. <laughs> Andrea Safroniu. <laughs> Nandini Sonecha.
Michael Spencer. Alexander Willits Hattel. Harry Rag. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics with a year abroad, Louis Kilworth. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Actuarial Science, Mohammed Ali. Saeed Ashad. Abirami Chalapa. Connor Coots. Samuel Daniel. Emily Furlong. Emdadul Hop. Nicholas Jones. <laughs> Ying Mi Lu. Jordan Morris. Nokulunga Moyo. Sriharsha Mupala. Bhavin Pravin Kumar. Gabriel Rue. Fatima Sabith. Nick Lasha Sat Kunalingam. Amanvia Sidhu. Akash Sinhal. Saeedin Thanikal. Nathan Thomas. Vinuri Vithanej. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics with Actuarial Science with a year in Industry, Priya Bogal. Mark Christou. Andreas Mikhail. Balraj Sanga. Naim Tekolia. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Physical Geography, Geography Rohan Lally. <laughs> Annelise Machin. <laughs> Benjamin Waite. <laughs> Grace Waller. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Software Engineering, Ethan Beardsley. <laughs> Jetmir Brucey. <laughs> Gary Clem. <laughs> Ali Hawa. <laughs> Sukpal Power. Jacob Sheaf. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Geography, Magenta Atkin.
David Braben. Tom Brewer. Leah Dodson. Christian Freeman. Charlotte Getter. Millie Lee Harbottle. Leanne Huck. Megan Eilith. Maria Jamal. Liam Kelly. Shania Kevin. Bethany Lucas. Samuel Malcolm Connolty. Sophie Miller. Niall Mulani. Katie Newcomb. Pedro Oliver Togores. Arena Ovchi Nikova. Natalie Sansom. Alice Sherwood. Anisha Sidhu. Imogen Slater. Imogen Slater. Grace Stones. Hannah Taylor. Kathy Van Murick. Thomas Walsham. Laura Witter. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Geography with a semester abroad, Ronan Hickey. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Geography with a year abroad, Jessica Philpott. Emily Pickett. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Geography with a year in Industry, Kazimomin Ashraf. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Human Geography, Molly Bloomfield. Laura Holmes. Lucia Laverti Barrell. Rhiannon Morgan. Heidi Rickard. Jarvis Sushbovich. Aaron Waite. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Human Geography with a year abroad, Catherine Beckett. For the degree of Master of Computer Science in Computer Science with a year in Industry, Otseto Otsagi. <laughs> 
for the degree of Master of Science in Cloud Computing with Industry, Raghav Agarwal. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Software Engineering, Muzamil Ahmed. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Media and Society, Valerie Appa. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Financial Mathematics with a year in Industry, Zagam Karim. For the Postgraduate Diploma in Advanced Computer Science, Sirisha Narsing. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Geography, Charles Finn. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Geography, Niti Chwaula. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Bi Jing. Rhiannon Jenkins, President of the Students' Union, will now address the congregation. First of all, congratulations, you made it. It might be one or two years later than expected, but that just means you're owed an extra congratulations for surviving the graduate world under the toughest circumstances. And you survived the heat today, so well done. Graduation is about a lot of things. The rite of passage, joining the alumni community, reuniting with friends and course mates. And it's also a chance to say thank you to those who supported you along the way. Your lecturers and tutors, family, friends, loved ones, whether they're sat in the audience or unable to be with us today for any reason, I can guarantee they're all so proud of the work and effort you've put in and are so glad they were able to see you cross the stage. Graduation is also about remembering the moments that brought you here, from film nights and accommodation to sunbathing in Victoria Park, hours spent studying the library in the Bennett Building, late nights and earlier mornings at Let's Disco, asking a mate to scan you into a lecture, absolutely destroying DMU at Varsity and celebrating with a knee slide, rinsing freshers' fare for freebies even in your final year, trying to suddenly figure out teams or even worse, Blackboard Collaborate, and coming up with your own way to celebrate finishing your degree with back garden and campus photo shoots and ceremonies on Zoom. These are all of the moments of your university life that have built a foundation of good times to go forwards with, somewhere that you'll always be able to call home. Most importantly, though, today is all about you. It's about pausing and really celebrating your achievements, the hours of work you dedicated to your degree, actually finishing and receiving that certificate. You should be so incredibly proud of yourselves and take that pride forwards as you become alumni, officially graduates, ready to go out and face the world and smash it. Enjoy the sunshine, and once again, congratulations. It's really been a privilege to stand here today and congratulate you all upon your success. All of you, along with your loved ones, family and friends, have reason to be proud and to celebrate. This is a momentous day in your lives, a day of achievement and celebration, but also a day of transition, of more change in your lives as you head off in new directions and explore new opportunities. However, can I, for the moment, ask you to cast your minds back to the time when you came to Leicester and reflect upon how far you've come? It is, by all accounts, a remarkable journey. 
It's a journey that's transformed you. You've been enriched through your time here by your education and your experiences. You've made new friendships, acquired new skills and knowledge, and you've gained much more than a degree. The richness of your experience will provide a bedrock for your future, helping you to grow further and flourish. You've already progressed into the next phase of your lives, and you'll use the skills you've acquired, together with your talent, to make an impact upon society. The future of work is changing, and you have the qualities that employers are looking for, such as problem solving, critical thinking, creativity, innovation, and leadership. The past few years have challenged you and tested you, but you're well equipped to face the future with confidence. You've shown that you have it in you to succeed. You're ambassadors of the University of Leicester and you carry our values with you. Being inclusive, inspiring and impactful. So commit yourselves to being citizens of change who help and empower others. As you make your way in life, be ambitious. You are capable of far more than you realize. Today is the launch pad for your future success. Continue to strive for excellence and never settle for second best. As former NBA sportsman and politician Bill Bradley said, ambition is the path to success. Persistence is the vehicle you arrive in. Be curious. Life never stops teaching us new lessons. Keep your quest for knowledge alive as you acquire new skills and learn new things. Today does not mark the culmination of learning. Rather, it represents a new stage on the journey. And be kind. Our humanity is de defined by our compassion. We cannot make progress as a society unless that progress is real for everyone. We are only as strong as those who are weakest in our society or organization. You never know who or where a helping hand will come from in the future. So treat others like you'd want to be treated. Steve Jobs said, technology is nothing. What's important is that you have faith in people, that they're basically good and smart, and if you give them the tools, they'll do wonderful things with them. I'm fortunate to have experienced this, which is why I'm so committed to an inclusive approach to education breaking down barriers that prevent individuals from reaching their full potential. It's a lesson that I hope you've learned from Leicester. My message to you is this. You are now in a very privileged position, holding a degree from a world-leading university. You will have opportunities to advance your career and, in doing so, help others along the way. The measure of our success is not simply what we achieve for ourselves, but the good we do for others. Now, I'd like to invite my colleagues on the platform and all the family, friends, and loved ones to join me in applauding your success. And may I ask you, the graduating classes of 2020 and 2021, to show your appreciation for your tutors and all your friends, families, and loved ones who have been a part of your journey. Today is about joy and celebration. Have a fantastic time. Keep in touch with Lester. You have, in this institution, a friend for life. I want to leave you with the words of Benjamin Franklin. He said, the noblest question in the world 
is what good may I do in it? Thank you. <laughs> Graduates and guests, please be upstanding for the final time in this ceremony. And everyone, let's have a really loud cheer and a really long round of applause. And join me in congratulating our classes of 2020 and 2021. I now declare this congregation closed. Please remain standing while the academic procession leaves the hall. Thank you.